There is a nasty bug in Cura 5 that makes it almost impossible to use if you have a dual monitor system on your computer and you've got a particular service turned on that basically causes Cura to crash. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's really easy, so stay tuned and I'll be right back. Alright, so the problem happens when you open Cura 5. So let me show you the problem and uh, what it does. So when I run Ultimaker Cura 5, uh, it opens up just fine, although there is a problem with the splash screen. Uh, the splash screen opens up on the second monitor if you run a dual monitor um, computer. However, that's just a cosmetic problem. It's not really an issue in terms of functionality. Cura 5 will open just fine and you can actually slice things in it uh, and it will work. However, if you try to open a second window, for example, if you go to extensions and you go to post-processing, modify G-code, and you try to modify the G-code by entering some sort of a um, script, the system will freeze. So as you can see, Cura is completely frozen. You can't do anything. It will not work. The only way to shut it down is by either uh, clicking the X here and it may shut down. It did shut down this time. Other times it won't shut down at all. Um, and um, basically uh, Cura uh, in this way is completely unusable. So the way you fix this problem is by shutting down the Nahimic uh, services. So Nahimic services are add-ons for your audio. They are alternative audio drivers which enhance some of the real tech audio drivers but which aren't really necessary. You can do just fine without the Nahimic services enabled. So my recommendation is to shut down the Nahimic services altogether or at the very least put them on manual so you can turn them on and off when you need them. The way you do this is by opening up the uh, services window. So in the search field just put in services and this will allow you to go to the services uh, window in uh, Windows uh, 10. So once that opens up, just scroll down to Nahimic, which is right here, Nahimic service. Highlight it, right click on it, go to properties. And as you can see, it's automatic. What you need to do is change the startup for the Nahimic service. So I'm going to change it to manual. You can also put it to disabled. Doesn't matter. Uh, manual allows you to just turn it on and off whenever you want. I'll just put it on manual and then I will apply it. Now the Nahimic service is still running so I'm just going to turn it off. Stop service. So click stop service. So now the service is stopped and it will be in manual the next time you boot your computer, uh, but it will not run unless you run it uh, manually. So I'm going to shut the services window and then I'll run Cura 5 again. And um, 
when it opens up, if you open up a secondary window, it should run just fine. So let me just go to post processing again, modify G code, and this time it works fine and you can add a script and Cura doesn't crash. So that's the solution. If you turn off the Nahimic service, Cura will work just fine. It doesn't solve the splash screen opening up in the wrong window, but it does solve the problem with uh, Cura crashing, which is the most serious problem. All right, so I hope this video was helpful, that this tip will make it easier for you to use Cura 5. If you found the video helpful, remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Subscribing to my channel uh, is really helpful and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. It helps people find my channel. It helps to get my videos watched more often. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. In any event, until next time, take care, happy 3D printing, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.